Well, I started training when I was about, uh, it was the summer of grade 8, and uh, basically all my friends were doing it, so I just, they were like, um, we used to wrestle together, and then after school, uh, we used to like have these little competitions and stuff, they used to throw me around, and um, I asked them where they learned this stuff, and I just, they, they told me, and I went in for a free class, and I just went from there, I just started training every day. started off at the Canadian trials uh, eventually they named it the pre-trials so they had the pre-trials and the trials and then the, the actual Abu Dhabi so I did the pre-trials in Toronto and um, I trained really hard for that and uh, ended up winning it had uh, three or four fights and then my confidence started growing with that um, my team got me ready obviously um, I went to the North Americans which was in Vancouver or sorry it was in BC I think it was in Vernon or Richmond BC uh, and um, I fought Javier Vasquez my first match and uh, I trained hard for that too it just Javier was really good and he uh, ended up triangling me and um, so we started uh, you know after that I was a little bit discouraged and stuff and um, so my friends ended up saying you know keep yourself ready just in case somebody drops out and gets hurt so um, I kept myself ready and then uh, I did a grapplers quest actually and um, from there I actually lost the, that tournament as well and um, so I was kind of down, I was, I, was, I was in like a bit of a slump and um, I just took one email, I told them look I'm ready, um, I've been training hard uh, so if anybody drops out I'll uh, substitute for them and uh, sure enough a couple of days later I got the call and uh, went down there. I had to lose like um, 17 pounds in like three days which was uh, not fun but it was worth it in the end to compete at that level. Um, I ended up fighting four times that weekend uh, I fought, uh, uh, I had a win over um, Gilbert Melendez and uh, Alberto Crane was my first match and um, it was pretty cool. I was really nervous my first match but having Pedro Neres in my corner really kind of made things better. He uh, was a good coach, he told me exactly what to do because my mind was like uh, just kind of a little bit nervous. I wasn't uh, myself and he just kind of made me calm by telling me what to do and it ended up really good because I came you know, I ended up winning those two matches and went to the semifinals. In about 2006, um, I think it was my trip to Brazil, there's no official word on that, but um, when I went to Brazil, I had gotten sick when I was a kid, so my immune system was already really bad. And uh, going to Brazil, I remember getting uh, really, really sick at one point. But when looking back on it now, I remember I was I was feeling good the whole... I was there for about two weeks. So for the whole two weeks, I was feeling good up until about maybe a week into it. And then after that, um, I just felt my legs get really weak. And people were just like kind of demolishing me. Well, more so than they were before, <laughs> the week before. And... Um, after that, stomach pain started, um, and uh, it just felt really, really bad. It's like the worst pain in the world. And it got to a point, I went to the hospital, they didn't really know what was wrong. Um, so at the, they stabilized me, they gave me some kind of painkillers and stuff. I ended up flying home early because I was so sick, uh, and then I came back to Canada. Uh, they didn't know what was wrong either. It said, uh, you know, we don't know what's wrong, but you're okay. It's nothing, you know, you're nothing serious. So I didn't like that answer, but there's nothing I could do. It, the pain disappeared. Uh, the pain showed up after about five years and it's consistent with a certain uh, parasite that, that occurs in Brazil and it's with all parasites too that it can lay dormant for up to 20 years so you won't feel it until like 20 years later um, so about five years later I got like acute pains I started losing rapid weight um, I went to the hospital uh, they said um, you have colitis and I'm like okay so they, f they gave me some meds and stuff and I tried to look for alternative type therapies and for about a year it worked and then when I tried to wean myself off the medication I just um, I went a little bit too fast but then my immune system dropped off again for some reason so you're like okay something's weird here like it, it shouldn't happen like that right so I went to um, um, get a dark field analysis done of my blood 
And basically they take a drop of your blood and put it on a screen and then throw it under a microscope so you can see it. And then they attach a video camera to it so you can watch it on a, on a monitor. And um, the lady who had done it, she's got like 30 years experience. And she was saying like, um, uh, she's never seen anything like that. Like it was so bad and she's been all over the world. And um, at that point, there was so much parasites. I had lost about 45 pounds and I'm only like 150 right now. Um, so, and from there, that was the sickest point until I started getting better. And uh, from there, I, I kind of sought uh, some alternative therapy away from the hospital. And then I started getting better. Hey guys, I'm just gonna go in the basement where all my uh, grow up is and basically get my mats and where I train and stuff. Come on. This is my mat space. This is basically where I train. I do my weights here. I invite people over and just do some training, some rollings, and we drill technique. Um, you know, afterwards we grab a bite to eat, maybe watch some jujitsu videos, and then you know, go from there. When I was sick, I was pretty desperate. I wanted to get better, but uh, I didn't want to live with the disease like the doctors told me. And um, so what ended up happening was I just kind of researched quite a bit. Uh, a few friends of the family uh, told me about this place in Florida where they, they deal with different types of diseases and cancers through a natural approach. So from there, <clears throat> I uh, looked into it. I got a consultation with the doctor there and he, uh, he talked about different things I could try and do. We, I can kind of go down there and, and uh, live there for about three weeks. And uh, that's what I ended up doing. I went down there. Um, first thing when I went down there, it just looked like a big resort. You had a, like a, you know, you had palm trees everywhere and swimming pools, different therapies and stuff like that. So um, uh, what it's based around is basically wheatgrass and the pea sprouts and the sunflower sprouts, which is what I eat. And um, right away I noticed the uh, um, uh, good results. Like I stopped going to the bathroom so much, my stomach uh, eased up. I got the first good night's sleep in about, I'd say, three months. And um, from there, like you could see the people as well that you're with, they're getting better. Like you, you could, people there are like on their last leg when they get there. When they leave, they're just completely turned things around and um, just so much better health-wise. Uh, but the first thing they did when I got there is they took my blood, and uh, um, if you take a look at the blood, you can kind of get a general idea of overall health, and that's what they did. And you, they, you could see my my blood cells weren't lasting too long; they were dying really fast, and um, just the, my immune system was really low. By this time, I was already uh, killing off a lot of the parasites, so there weren't many left, but the, uh, the residual effects were there. And then from there, they just kind of gave me uh, the diet, which I followed, and then, so that boosted the health up where it needed to be, and then they used supplements to balance any, any, uh, um, anything that needed to be balanced, basically. And I used this, uh, the things like digestive enzymes, systemic enzymes to break up protein in the bloodstream. Um, Chlorella, which uh, detoxes you through heavy heavy metals and um, other stuff, it's good for digestive as well, and uh, just a bunch of other proteins or uh, sorry supplements. And I stayed there for three weeks. When I was done, I just I felt like a new person. You know, I gained some of my weight back. I started gaining weight back. While I was down there, I actually th thought about training, but I was about 125 pounds, so <laughs> I was like right at the doorstep. But I looked around, I'm like, hmm, I better not, <laughs> I better not risk it. I'm uh, doing well here. So, um, um, but when I uh, got back home, I followed the diet for, uh, well, I'm still following the diet, but I followed it for another four months, five months until I started training again. I felt healthy enough. And um, although my strength wasn't there because I was really light and I wasn't doing any weight training, my conditioning was incredible. Like there was no um, uh, lactic acid, like no burning. Uh, the, the best way I can put it is like when you go swimming, and you start treading water, you don't really feel that burn, but it's more like the muscles are getting tired. And that's how I feel when I roll. Like I don't really get tired or winded or anything like that. Um, the strength, you, I mean, there's no other way to do it. You have to do weights and to increase your strength. Um, but uh, to build the strength, it had, was no problem either. My recovery was, was, so, was so much better than before. 
All right, guys, this is my little grow up room. Uh, this is where I grow all my, my uh, stuff that I juice there throughout the day. Uh, I grow two things. I grow wheatgrass and I grow uh, pea sprouts. All right, so this is the, the wheatgrass. Um, basically, this is the cornerstone of the whole thing. I juice about four ounces a day, but uh, the average, because I'm sick, but the average person can do maybe two ounces a day. Um, just a little fact, two ounces of, uh, of wheatgrass equals about five pounds of vegetables. So it's really, really uh, concentrated and good for you. Um, it's got more protein than any, any animal, anything that comes from an animal. <coughs> uh, basically 20 of the, of the essential amino acids, it's got a, a really good essential fatty acids and um, incredible amount of minerals too. Um, these are the pea sprouts. Uh, these are, I mix in with cucumber and celery. I do about uh, eight ounces of this, eight ounces of the cucumber and celery, and I juice that twice a day. And uh, this is really good as well for protein, high amount of chlorophyll, alkalizes the blood. Um, it actually attacks cancer cells and breaks it down. So they use this in cancer protocols. Uh, pretty much any disease they'll use it for. And so you can imagine how good it would be for your fitness level and stuff like that. So I have about 20 trays here. These are uh, wheatgrass, I have 10 trays, and uh, do I have check away? I mean, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, about 10 trays. And the peas, I have about uh, 10 trays. And this is it. And I have uh, different sections here. This is my dehumidifier. I just use it just to, because the moisture can build up in here, it's not really good for inside the house, so I just use that to kind of lower the humidity. Um, eventually, we're bringing this to the garage when it gets warmer. I use the fan to kind of break up the humidity as well because um, the first day these usually uh, the wheatgrass pulls in a lot of moisture and it can start molding stuff like that so I just blow the fan around to kind of uh, let everything uh, dry up and stuff. This is uh, I use this lamp to help green everything up. There's not much sunlight in here so uh, this is uh, a bulb, a special bulb that kind of simulates the sunlight and uh, greens up all the, uh, all the sprouts. Okay, uh, so first we're going to start off juicing some wheatgrass, so two ounces. Um, that's how I recommend anyone who wants to start this. I'm doing it with uh, a special type, special type of juicer. I don't just use any type. I like to use this one just because uh, if you use that traditional uh, shredding one, the one that's uh, kind of like runs like this, uh, it introduces air and it kind of oxidizes everything. You don't get the full nutrients. It makes foam, so you won't uh, um, get the full benefit from it. So basically, uh, I'll show you how, I'll give you a look as to uh, what it looks like. This is basically a single auger system. Right, this is an auger, by the way. Um, it's like kind of like the the meat grinders when they make sausages. If you're familiar with that, basically takes the the vegetables, pushes it to the front, and rings it out, and it goes through this little sieve here and into the little container. All right, so let's get started. So just basically turn it on. Take some wheatgrass, throw it in there, and just push it down. Have the next bunch. Usually takes about to do two ounces. Honestly, like two minutes doesn't take much. So it's not like time consuming like everybody thinks. This thing is really pretty easy to clean, um, as opposed to those other juices. They're a little more expensive, but once you get one, it'll probably be the best investment you make as far as uh, health and fitness. The way I see it, if you increase your health, uh, you increase your fitness capacity. You be able to train longer, harder. Uh, your endurance improves. Um, when I started on this diet, my endurance went through the roof. Alright, so now we're going to have our shot, but uh, just wanted to explain something with the greens. Whenever you juice, you want to juice this daily, right, so you get the benefit from it. You want to avoid mixing any type of sugar with it, because the sugar is just add acidity and it takes away from the benefit of what you're doing here. Some people like to add uh, like different fruits to it, but Try not to. You can add herbs, green herbs like mint or something to get rid of the taste because the taste is it's horrible. I'm not going to lie. It's the worst. <laughs> all right. So from here, all right, we're just going to take our, our wheatgrass, throw it into a shot glass. Not the greatest tasting, so you got to have kind of, you know, block it out of your mind or find something you like about it, like the color or something like that because it just tastes like crap. I'm really trying not to make a face, but it's pretty horrible. So basically nowadays I'm, uh, I'm, I'm in school for acupuncture, so I'm kind of going towards the health industry just to, you know, I just want to 
kind of help people with their problems and sports injuries. Um, also a nutritionist, so if anyone needs any nutritional counseling or advice, I help them with it. Uh, selling wheatgrass and sprouts. I'm a wheatgrass dealer, I guess. <laughs> Uh, I'm still training, I still do weights, I still uh, uh, grapple and stuff. Um, I plan on competing twice a year at least while I'm in school. Um, Pan Ams and Worlds, no me. Um, and that should keep me busy, you know, I got this house to kind of take care of now I just moved into, so it's uh, going to be a full plate for me.